So for this one, it says consider the graph of f of x equals 10x, or 10 raised to the x, sorry. And so here's the graph here. Um, it says which statement describes a key feature on g of x, which is f of x plus 4. So this is kind of easy, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to graph it. It's easy because it's just going to shift the graph four units to the left. So, but let me show you that. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I want you guys to see um, 10 raised to the x. Um, delete. 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 All right, so then the next one is going to be 10 raised to the, and I'm going to say x plus 4. Is that what I said? X plus 4. So what it's called a composite function. So instead of being 10 to the x, which is f of x, it's going to be x plus 4. So now when I graph this, what you'll see is the blue graph is the original function f of x. And then shifted four units to the left will be the red one, um, but it's basically the same thing. So um, remember that when you have um, a function, so if f of x equals 10x and g of x is equal to f of x plus 4. This is what we call a horizontal shift. So it's the same values, it's just that they're, they're going to be shifting to the left 4. Shift. Now, if that was a negative four, it would go to the right four units. Okay, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this graph. Let me take a picture of this graph real quick, uh, and we'll post it in there, and then we'll figure out what answer applies. So as I look at this, oh, A is the answer because it says it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. That's true. Um, it doesn't change much. It just shifts it to the left. So the original function has a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. In other words, it never crosses y equals zero. It never crosses the x-axis. Okay. The other ones, uh, no, the x-intercept doesn't occur because it never crosses the x-axis. So this isn't true. The y-intercept is at 0, negative 4. No, 0, negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's right there. So no, that's not true. And they're saying that it has a horizontal asymptote at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That means that it never crosses this boundary, but as you can see right here, it clearly crosses y equals 4. Um, so that's not true. So A is the answer. I like to go over the wrong 